In this video, I'll be showing you how to completely automate your Facebook page content through other social media like TikTok or Instagram, for example. In this example, I'll be doing TikTok to Facebook page. And it's really nice because you don't have to worry about all your posts anymore. They just automatically go straight to your Facebook page and get that content out there, which uh, will get you views over time. And it's very hands off. Like I barely even ever look at any of this anymore just because it's all automated and um you know over time it does get you traffic and views um like without me even really touching this i have over 500 something followers on this particular facebook page and you can do this with multiple multiple facebook pages which is really cool because you can scale it so the first thing we want to do is if you haven't already go ahead and sign up for a repurpose.io account in the link down below you can get your free trial and try it out uh, we love for people to just come in, try it out, and see what you think about it. Automation and saving time for you is key for us. We want to make sure that we do a lot of the heavy lifting so you're not having to post everywhere. For this particular example, the connections that we'll, we will be needing is uh, TikTok. So you can just add a new connection and connect your TikTok account. You just uh, click the TikTok here, and then you um, go ahead and connect. It'll pop up, and you can connect to your TikTok. Then the other one is um, your Facebook account. So you'll go ahead and just do add a new connection. You'll go to Facebook and then you'll go ahead and connect your Facebook account as well. So pretty simple. Then we'll go to the workflow tab on the left side and this is where we set up our workflow. So this is where we make pretty much a trigger saying when we make a TikTok video, it will automatically be posted to our Facebook page, which is really cool. So we'll go to create a new workflow on the on the top right. We can just name this workflow whatever you want to, but just so you know what it is. So I'm just going to put like TikTok account to Facebook page, something like that. And whatever will help you remember what it is, you just click next and you choose a source type. The source type in this example is TikTok. And then if you have multiple TikToks, you can choose which one. I only have one, so... Um, and then you do choose an action. We want to upload the video and then the full video. We want the full TikTok that we create, right? You click next and then we do choose a destination. We'll do Facebook and then you can choose a Facebook page or Facebook group. We want to make sure it's on Facebook page and then you can select which page. Like I said, you can have multiple, multiple Facebook pages. So you could have your TikTok going to like six or seven different Facebook pages and getting views that way, which is really cool. So it's totally up to you. I'll select that page and then select a type. You'll have reels and then you press done. So while that's going, um, there are a couple of different things that we can do to customize this. This is the one we had right here. TikTok count to Facebook page. What we can do is we can click on the little icon here. The little cog will bring up um, some Facebook settings. So I always want to have uh, the original video. You can put in an intro file. So if you want, um, an intro always on your Facebook page for people to see. You can also do an outro file. So like at the end of every single TikTok video that goes to your Facebook page, you can have some kind of call to action if you want to. Some people may want to do this, which is really cool. You can actually set it to only import videos that contain specific hashtags. So if you only want specific videos to go to your Facebook page, you can make a hashtag that goes like Facebook page, like FBP, right? Or whatever you want it to be. And when you click on that, you know, hashtag, let's see, hashtag Facebook page. Now only videos that you put that hashtag will go to your Facebook page, which is really cool. Um, if you don't care, then obviously you don't want to have that um, in there at all. You can also email notifications of, of a successful publish and you can remove your hashtags from like, let's say that you don't want all the hashtags from your TikTok video for whatever reason to go to your Facebook page. You can just do remove hashtags from source. Once you're all done, you can just press save. We can save those settings. And now you um, most likely you'll want this to be on automatic because it is something that is, you know, so hands off. So you click it on auto. So right here, you want to flip it from manual to auto. And then you have the choice. You can either make it right whenever you post your TikTok video within two hours, it will go on your Facebook page automatically without you even having to care, which is really fun. I, I kind of like it that way. Or some people want, like, let's say you want on your Facebook page to only have it on a schedule. So you can do it based on a schedule and um, content to be on the schedule 
or you can select, no, you only want new content. So I'll just have it be only new content from this point on. And then you want to do a set publishing schedule. Now you can go ahead and select the days, the time periods that you want your content to go through. So let's say um, you want only like you make TikToks every day, but you only want your Facebook page to have your content go on there between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Monday. You don't want it on Tuesday. You want it between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Wednesday. You don't want it Thursday and so on. You can totally change the, the days and times, right? And then when you're done, you can just do enable auto publish. Um, and then you'll be good to go. For me, I'd rather um, kind of just have it as soon as possible. So that way, whenever I uh, create a TikTok video, it goes directly to the different Facebook pages without me having to do anything or think about anything. So I would just do auto publish. And so from there on, you can just kind of view content. You can make sure you can see like if you already have had content go through, you can actually schedule those from the past. So if you want to schedule those, you just do schedule and then we'll have that come up. You can change the caption or you can use AI to uh, create a new caption based on the video, which is really cool. You can um, see it says, join my captivating journey on this and you can publish it now or you can schedule it. But as of right now, when I create a TikTok video, it will automatically go to the Facebook page, which is really cool. So let me know if this helped you guys out at all. Do you utilize Facebook pages at all in your content strategy? If you have or have not, have you tried using multiple Facebook pages to get traffic to your offers or different websites? Let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do a tutorial on something different. We love sharing all the different ways that we can use repurpose.io as we know it's such a valuable tool and software here for you. So hopefully you guys have a great day and we will see you guys in the next video.